Hello, NHB. It is I, Super Steve, and I am wearing this may or er, get up because I am feeling disgusted, and I don't want you to see the disgust on my face. My disgust for you as members of the group. I've been posting a meme or a meme or whatever the fuck they're called and it went a something like this. For gir- for <laughs> forget sports entertainment, I'm an NHB wrestling guy. Now in case you don't know what that fucking means, that means that I've tossed all that fucking bullshit that the WWE has crammed down my throat for the last fucking 10 to 15 years, including my hero and yours, John Zena. I take all that bullshit and I put it aside when I vote on Derek Costa's matches. And by the way, you do some great matches, brother. Thank you very much. You are the hardest fucking working man in Canada. I'm, I don't live there, but if there's a harder working man than you, he deserves a raise. Anyways, back to my point. I do not vote uh, just off of, oh, uh, the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks beat Brian Hendricks. Or Hendrix in London, Brian Hendrix and whatever, Brian. You know what I mean, okay? First of all, this is just an example. The Young Bucks, uh, they might win, okay? They might have won. I don't know. I'm not saying they are or they didn't. I obviously didn't vote for them. I voted for Brian Kendrix in London. I voted for Kendrix in London, okay? The look of disgust is gone. I can take this off now. You know why? I'm fixing to smoke some weed here in a second. Okay, we got to get to the point. The point is this. They would not have killed... The Young Bucks would not have killed Kendricks in London. 20 votes to... Oh, it was 20 to 17. Never mind, that's a bad example. <laughs> Anyways, you get my point. Stop. Do not be brainwashed when you fucking vote on Derek's matches. You have to think outside the box. You have to think to when they were in their prime, okay? When they were in their prime, that means at the very best of their career. And then you have to take this very best and you have to put it against this very best, okay? It's not... Okay, this very best was 10 years before your time, and this very best is right now, so we got to vote for this guy. Because right now, I'm telling you that this very best is better than this best. Uh, use your fucking network. Watch, uh, go and uh, watch a couple of the matches. I've been doing it lately. I go and I write down the matches, and then I'll go look up each individual on the network and compare. And I can tell you this, in his prime, in his prime, Vader would have destroyed The Undertaker, okay? But you wouldn't know that, and I'm sorry, because you are stuck on sports entertainment. You really need to go and find Vader in his prime, okay? And you probably ain't going to find it on the network. The network pisses me off, man. I can't find no matches uh, older than 1984. Dudes, I want to watch some wrestling from 1970 fucking five, 1970. Where the fuck are those matches at, Vince McMahon? Where are my old matches that you promised me? 1984 is not old to me. Shit. Most of the people that are watching the network are were born in 1984. So they've already seen all that shit. And I'm too old fucking. I'm too fucking old to even fucking remember what happened in 1984. I'm sorry. I'm old and senile and I'm high. But let me tell you something. Getting back to this list. <laughs> 
Forget sports entertainment. It's NHB. If you're not an NHB wrestling guy, you need to stop voting right now because I will show up in the middle of the night and I will cut your fucking eyeballs out. And then I'll go on to your computer <clears throat> and change all your answers to what I want them to be. Now then, let's get back to this Sunday night heat show. You know, I, I was extremely fucking uh, Sunday night heat. Anyways, I guess I I see it. Uh, I did bad. I don't know what else to say. There's nothing I can say except I did bad. I got five fucking right out of nineteen. And I'd like just to go through it real quick. Here we go. Mankind over abyss. 31 to fucking 8. Mankind in his prime could not beat the monster abyss in his prime. Enough said. Young Bucks over Kendricks in London. Um, I voted for Kendricks in London, but at least it wasn't a massacre. Then you had Tyler Breeze. In Castle, Dalton Castle. Tyler Breeze got 23 votes. Dalton Castle got 12. I guarantee you the second Dalton Castle premieres on the WWE, Monday Night Raw, Thursday Night SmackDown, you guys will be voting the other way around. Dalton will be getting this high-ass fucking number over someone who, uh, you know, someone who can beat him. I don't know, but. I voted for Dalton. I don't know. I thought he was good. And then there was Paige. And Paige was in a match against somebody. AJ Lee. Right? Paige was against AJ Lee. No. I forget. But anyways, I voted for Paige and she won. So I just wrote her down. I don't know who she wrestled. Or how many votes she got. I didn't care. She just a yummy English muffin. And then RVD, I voted for RVD over Ambrose. And I can't believe it. I thought for sure everybody would be getting on uh, Ambrose's boat and riding that boat out to the fucking ocean. But you didn't. You stayed true to RVD. And you know why? Because in RVD's prime, he is better than Dean Ambrose, who is already probably in his prime right now. So... I think that dude's a flash in the pan. And when you're 46 years old, you're going to be saying, you know what, that Dean Ambrose? That guy was just a fucking flash in the pan. Think what you want. Oh, shut up. What? Go ahead, son. Take a bath. And then there was the American Alphas with 18 over the Dudley Boys, which was 17. I voted with the Dudley boys. And then there was Havoc and with a bunch of other chicks in a wrestling match who got 11 of the votes. I wanted my baby's mama to win Alicia Fox. Oh, she's so sexy and her pussy smells good. And then number eight was Finn Balor who got 20 over Kane who got 18. I voted for Finn. Then there was Becky Lynch. Oh, she vote, She faced AJ Lee. Of course, I voted for Sweet Potato Pie. Got 21 to 16. Uh, AJ Lee's always had some uh, hardcore uh, serious fans that stick by her side. And that's good, man. That's good for you guys to do that. And then you had Bray Wyatt against... Justin or Bray Wyatt in like a six man match or something. But he got 21 votes. And I went with Justin Lager. I call him Lager. I don't know if it's Leaguer or Lager or what. He got six votes. I do not think you guys voted correctly. Edge. Oh, it's the stingy leg. Okay, Edge got 20 votes over Orton. He's got 17. I agree with that. 
And then you had Chris Benoit. You got 26 fucking points. Or votes, not points. Over Arn Anderson, 14. Let me tell you, son. See? In Arn Anderson's prime, he was with the Four Horsemen. And the Four Horsemen always, always had a plan. Against Chris Benoit, who was in his prime, was a tremendous athlete. But he really didn't have any friends who would go out there and help him. But Arn Anderson did, so you guys voted wrong. I'm sorry. It's like milking a cow. And then there was Team Bestie against Divas of Doom. Team Bestie got 20 points. Divas of Doom got 16. I voted for DOD. I'm not going to lie. It was, you know, 16 points ain't that bad. I'm just moving on. Then you had, this is a slap in the fucking face. You guys truly are sports entertainment fans. Fuck you, bitches. Stone Cold Steve Austin with 30 votes over Dusty Rose with 10 fucking votes? Boy, you guys are a bunch of fucking idiots. Then you have The Undertaker. 34 fucking votes to Vader's 7? Do your fucking homework. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Then you have HBK over Styles. And I'll be honest, I forget who I voted for. But HBK got 22. The Styles got 19. If I had to vote again, I would say HBK. I think I did vote HBK. I'm not sure. You can ask Derek. I don't know. But uh, that was a close match. Good match. Then you got China. With 20 fucking votes over Awesome Kong with 17 votes. Now, this little pisses me off. I'm going to go into this in quick detail. Because last year, last year, China couldn't get a fucking vote if her life depended on it. But this year, just because she's passed away, and rest in peace, China. But goddamn, man, she don't want your fucking sympathy votes, bitch. Anyways, I voted for Awesome Kong. And then we got Triple H with 25 over Bret Hart with 18. Uh, I know I voted for uh, Bret Hart. And I'm sure he would have won no matter what kind of match it was. Uh, Bret Hart in his prime. NW or NBA. NBA. No holds barred wrestling. <laughs> Votes in their prime against... Triple H in his prime that just doesn't uh, add up. Bret Hart would have won. So, just remember this. Forget sports entertainment. I'm an NHB wrestling guy, and if you don't fucking climb out of that bullshit... Oh, right there, bitches. And Derek Costa, I just like to apologize to everyone right now. Please don't leave the group. Derek says that I'm scaring you all off and that you don't want to vote because of my opinions and my views. But you know what? I have a meme for that, uh, too. And perhaps I'll use it sometime. It goes a little something like this. What? <laughs> Y'all have a fucked up night. <laughs>